We started as an idea, a group of musicians getting together and seeing what might happen when strangers meet. We scoured from Venice to Istanbul, Central Asia, China, and Mongolia, looking for incredible talent. The music of Strangers is about Yo-Yo Ma's journey into trying to figure out how music can fix the world. <laughs> I mean, very simply, it's about this crazy idea he had 15 years ago to get musicians from, from around the world to explore the idea that music is an international language. And since that time, it's grown into this touring ensemble of musicians who are as much cultural ambassadors as they are uh, musical collaborators. I'm always trying to figure out how I fit in the world, which I think is something that I share with seven billion other people. This film asks big questions about what role art and culture plays in a modern world with so many different political problems. And I think in today, as we see so many people wanting to build walls, I think this is all about building bridges. I mean, it, it's something that arts and culture do, that film does, that music does. It creates empathy and understanding. And if we need anything more in today's world, it's, it's empathy and understanding. To me, the title, The Music of Strangers, is kind of a contradiction in terms, that you can't be a stranger with somebody you make music with, because the very act of making music is one of creating understanding and empathy. That, in essence, is what filmmaking is. You show people a story they may not relate to or a character they may feel is foreign, but then they recognize something of their own experience in that person's experience. I mean, I think Roger Ebert had called movies empathy machines. So I feel like what I am interested in doing as an artist and what they were doing with their music um, were the same, asking the same questions and trying to, trying to find the same answers. We were just speaking slightly different languages, film or music. So we're all kind of at one on this journey. We don't speak perfect English or perfect Chinese or perfect Persian, but we speak perfect music language. It's about the hard work of really exploring what's behind the cliche of music being an international language. Is it this kind of lingua franca um, through which we can really speak to other people? And having been on this journey, you know, I'm more convinced than ever that it is. Everybody is afraid, but you make a connection to another human being. You can turn fear into joy.